<laughs> hey everybody, this is uh, Jeffrey Anthony. So it's funny. I just had um, in the day alone for military sites, so just I have you know watching and everything else. I had to take off about you know a block out for different companies or people trying to solicit money out of veterans and everything, or you know for handicap. And it turns out when you look them up, they're not a legit corporation. And already on my phone today. I heard, you know, be, they call me up and they're asking to give, they want me to send money up to Chicago or over to New York uh, for uh, veterans. And it's really funny because I was like, okay. And they're like, well, we need a commitment on your level, right? I'm like, well, first off, I need to know if you're legit or not. And when you send your paperwork, and it's funny because they hang up on me and they don't even, I don't get anything from them. But it's funny because the person is not a veteran. The person has nothing to do with it. It's funny how they call you and they're wanting money from you but they won't give you any information on what they do or how they do it. And it's just funny, it's like today's Tuesday and like it's just because of the nice weather, I guess they're just taking people for being gullible. See, when I give to an event or organization, you know, me as a junior uh, vice commandant of the Marine Corps League in Quincy, and then, you know, I used to sit on, oh man, almost 11 different boards, which means I still act in the backdrop for a lot of them. I don't, you know, I, I help them out. You know, they're all legit, and not a single person on any of those boards has ever taken money. It's just really funny because, like I said, first off, I check and see if the person's a veteran themselves or if they have fa family members that are veterans. And then all of a sudden, you know, or they'll call me about kids with disabilities or something like that. And I'll ask them, like, a handful of questions. And I'm like, okay, well, before I give any money and before I was like, I will commit after I find out you're a legit corporation. And then I'd be happy to, you know, because it's a, you know, I like to give. And I also like to raise money for legit corporations. And then all of a sudden, it's kind of like I find out that they have board members or whatever that make 75% of the profits that come in and everything else then goes to the veterans or the wounded. And it's just, it just surprises me on how many people try and take advantage of men and women in uniform, kids, elderly and it's funny because these aren't calls from India or China or Korea. These are calls coming directly from the United States from people that are just trying to take advantage of people. And one of the things like like about I've called uh, my company. There's been several colleges and stuff online. And one of the things I do, this isn't a sales pitch for what I do or anything. It's just I actually have the means to make a phone call and find out if something's legit or not. And then my company does the research on it. They'll call me back and like, no, nah, you're giving money, but you're required to go to these places and then you don't get anything in return. And it's funny how many places out there are not legitimate at all and how many people get suckered into it based on, you know, they want to do good for people. They want to help people out. And I always tell everybody, you know, do research before you go out there and you spend money or you give money to causes that are fake, that are not legitimate. Now, the causes like in Quincy that I think the world of, you know, you got like everywhere from the March of Dimes to Fishing for Freedom. These are great causes and, you know, they're very, very legit. You know, you've got, you know, you've got your... Uh, Marine Corps leagues in each town and city. You've got your AMVETS um, in each town and city. You know, you have your legions in each town or city. You know, you've got your muscular dystrophy associations in each town or city, you know. And a lot of the hospitals, they have charitable donations and causes. But even with hospitals, I'm very careful that the hospital isn't because, like I said, we want to be careful on who we give our money to and how we do it. I mean, it motivates us. Why would I say anything about this when everything I do is about motivation? It's because I see a lot of single parents out there. I see a lot of people out there that are widows and widowers and, you know, people take advantage of them and I hate that more than anything else. I don't like when people get taken advantage of especially. You know, I understand that some places have helped people but overall they could be helping more but you know they're too busy making money off the backs of those that are hurting or in pain. It's kind of like uh, when you give uh, your kidney don or like donations. Okay, not, not kidneys. I'm not saying that. I'm talking about when you're an organ donor and the families in the hospital still have to pay their hospital bills Yet the hospital charges for those those organs, and then on top of that, they charge everything about the organs. And so, to me, you're not there is no, you know, you're not giving them because your family's paying for it, somebody else is paying for it, and the hospitals who are these 
they make so much money on the boards and everything. Maybe not the nurses. The nurses could be paid more. You know, the administrators get paid all this money, yet we give our organs and our kidneys and our donors and our hearts and our lungs and everything else, yet we think it's going to some kid out there when actually it's going to science, it's going to projects, the hospital, it's going to somebody else, and both parties are paying for it and the hospital's making all the money for it. So as much as I love hospitals and being an organ donor, which I believe we need to be, we also need to be respectful and in our wills and our healthcare powers, attorneys and stuff, we need to put down there, look, if there's gonna be money made on my organs or my, my stuff, Okay, I'll, I'll give it to somebody. I will, you can have my organs. If I have an extra one, you can have it, okay? But if I die or something and a hospital profits off my body and my family has hospital bills, I have issues with that. Uh, when the Wounded Warrior Project, which I, I love the Wounded Warriors, and I know that it did good for some, but they got so greedy to where all the board members were making six figures and they weren't military at all, that upset me, okay? You know, when different organizations, they, you know, I find out in these small towns, there's like, they're trying to go for a kid or something. And there's those things at gas stations and everything. It turns out that the gas station tenants are like taking from it or they're fake organizations. We hear about this stuff all the time. We just want to make sure that whatever we say or do is legit because, you know, what happens is people stop giving when they find out all you're doing is you're lining the pockets. It's like these episodes they do on Dateline and on TV and everything where people are begging for money, yet they're making between seventy and $100,000 a year begging for money. And that's why they beg for money. It becomes a job. And they're out there getting free money. Yet I come from a family that are farmers and factory workers. I got friends that are nurses and nurse practitioners. I got you know, other friends that are school teachers, you know, and they're doing everything in their power to make ends meet. And then you get all these fake people, they're, they're taking advantage of people and they're making money. And to me, that's not cool at all. So be careful on where you're giving at this summer and everything else. Remember, there's a lot of fraudulent people out there. And if they can't answer simple questions like, are you a vet good, where'd you serve? Oh, okay, so um, how many people sit on this board? You know, you need to be very careful with all that. So that's just me just basically giving you a warning out there to be careful about the scams and stuff out there, you know. And always remember, the IRS does not call you. There, You have no family member stuck in Spain. You've never, you're not going to win the European lottery. I'm sorry, those are all fake and BS. And you'd be surprised, a lot of people out here, my friends are laughing, they're like, what the heck is he talking about? But then there's others on there like, they actually think they're legit. And so when these fake companies and these fake people call up, you know they get taken advantage of and so I just wanted to give a shout out about that today before tomorrow's Wednesday tomorrow's my Wednesday motivational speeches and everything and talks and everything on here but today I just want to tell you watch out for scam artists watch out for people that are trying to take your money you know identity theft is a legit thing so there are, you're gonna get a lot of phone calls because companies out there sold your information phone numbers email addresses bank account information they sold all your stuff to anybody that would buy it and they made money off of it and so now the scammers they've got our phone numbers they got our parents numbers tell your mom and dad look out for the elderly especially tell them that there's nobody stuck none of their grandkids are overseas you know don't let them take advantage just be very vigilant of what's going on out there and you know a lot of us you know we're single parents that we don't have a lot, but we like to help out. So we don't want our money going to the wrong places. We don't want our time and efforts going to somebody else that's capitalizing off of our volunteering. So when you do it, do it for right reasons. That's why I love the hometown I live in. Um, for the most part, almost everything around here is legit and they go to legit purposes and legit causes, okay? And it's not about a political function. It's just telling each other, watch out for each other. That's my tip for today. Watch out for each other. Make sure people are aware that scam artists are out there. And guess what? They're not in some foreign language. They may sound like a police associate or something, but they're not. They're just scam artists, you know? And you need to be very, very careful about that because, like I said, we earn our money, we work hard for it, and we don't want somebody taking it from us. Anyway, I am Jeffrey Jansen today. I just thought about that because like I said, I've had 30 of them on one of my websites and I had three calls coming into me and I thought, you know, this is ridiculous on how many we get. And I have most of my stuff blocked anyway, except the family and friends and for business purposes. So anyway, I will talk to everybody later. It is daddy daughter date night. So I gotta get everything ready for my daughter and I look forward to talking to everybody soon. Have a good one everybody, God bless.